What up YouTube, TK here and today I will be showing you how to jumpstart your car using a drill battery because I need to jumpstart my car and I only have a drill battery. Alright, so I have my Ryobi drill here and as you can see it has some charge in it. Now, I'm actually very lucky that it's a Ryobi thanks to the way the battery is designed. You can see here it's got these nice easy to access terminals so I should be able to get my jump leads onto these with at least not too many problems. And it's now that I'll tell you that this is incredibly dangerous and you definitely shouldn't try this unless you know what you're doing. If you do short circuit the car battery or the drill battery, you're liable to create an explosion, some kind of fire, you can get seriously injured, I'm not kidding. You could actually ruin your face and you probably like your face, I like my face. Don't really want to hurt myself so I'm going to be very careful. Only do this if you know what you're doing. If you're watching this, you probably do. You can see here, I've got the negative jump lead connected to the negative terminal, the positive jump lead connected to the positive terminal, and that's coming down to this drill battery. So I've got those connected there. Now I'm gonna start this, I'm very worried. If there's the slightest jolt, this could fall off, short out, cause major problems. So I'm, I'm just gonna check the voltage reading in the car. We can see that's already gone up above 12 volts, so that's good. We can probably crank the car over now. Uh, that said, that isn't really sitting there very stably. I'm kind of a bit nervous. I'm just going to adjust that so that if anything happens... Alright, so if anything happens, hopefully that should fall off. The connection should break. If that does catch fire, it'll catch fire over there somewhere. We're just going to try and crank the car over. Oh god, I'm nervous. It's probably one of the stupider things I've done. Oh my god, it worked. Holy crap. All right, let's get that disconnected. ASAP. Now, there's a bunch of reasons why that was stupidly dangerous. And I'll tell you right now. Holy crap, that actually worked. Now, electrically speaking, that's not surprising. We connected up a battery capable of delivering high current to a car that needed some current. Practically speaking, however, that was amazing. The slightest jolt could have touched those two conductors together. We could have shorted out the car battery. We could have shorted out the lithium battery. Big bang, a lot of problems didn't happen. The other thing is, it's very important if you do this to disconnect the leads as soon as possible because you don't want the alternator charging the lithium battery. The safe way to do this, of course, is to connect the lithium battery to the car, leave it for 10 minutes, keep an eye on things, take it off, and then crank the car separately. I'm kind of in a hurry. I wanted to see if it would work. It did. I cranked the car off the drill battery. Freaking awesome. All in all, that is how you jumpstart your car off the drill battery in an emergency situation. Oh, and in case you were wondering, still runs. Awesome. TK out.